right, good morning. Good morning. It's breakfast time. I am here at the wilderness cabin. Whoa, the plate might not make it. I am here just kind of picking away at some projects. We got the main structure up and we're pretty well weather tight. I got one one area I gotta address. But I'm working on various projects. I don't really have it all lined up very well or a straight game plan but it's basically going to be the flooring which i got done and then i'm going to do some rough wiring which uh which i'm it's going to be rough <laughs> and then i'm going to insulate and start to do some of the interior siding i have enough to do the bedroom and the ceiling in the bedroom so i'll work on that uh, some v-match some cedar v-match that i picked up a couple weeks ago and then i got a lot of outside stuff to do before the snow comes i want to cut up a bunch of the wood that there's some dead trees that fell over all around the property i want to get those cut up and and uh brought over for firewood and i might move the lower shed so i'd have to get that emptied out too there's a decent amount of firewood in there and i got one pretty big outside project to do i haven't quite decided what i want to do on this yet um donnie kind of was both ways on it I, I just don't do it whatever way donnie wants to do it but we left uh we left our overhangs from our rafters we were in a, a super rush when we were hanging those we were running out of time with the with the guys that that were here to help out so we thought about cutting them off the tails at the time but we didn't so now i gotta figure out how to how i'm gonna make that weather tight if i want to i could just trim that put some soft vents in and call it good and then you'll have that little you know 10 inch overhang over the door here even though it's under the porch or i could cut off every individual rafter try to get them flush board that up and then build a a knee wall and eventually have this whole thing walled up which will probably look better in the long run i don't really know i gotta kind of envision both ways and then also envision how i'm gonna do it and cut those i would have to oh boy it'd be a it'd be a wicked challenge because they the way they frame that in over there they framed it off the roof wow it would be a challenge to say the least hmm But it can be done, so that's on my list for this week, too. Uh, I'll just keep picking away at the things I can do. But first things first, let's drive that breakfast into us. Okay, I want to do the bedroom. I want to insulate the bedroom and and start to V-match that, because I'm just going to do that in cedar for now. And in order to do that, I have to rough wire in my electrical friend there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a light, an exterior light that goes to the outhouse. I'm gonna have a switch on that too. And then I'm gonna have a couple of outlets for charging phones or if you want a lamp or something like that in here. And then I'm also gonna have recessed lighting in the ceiling. So that's the electrical that I'm gonna need for here. I'm also gonna port it up into the loft through the same circuit. So I gotta drill through some studs. I'm gonna try and use the little 3 8 impact driver from Milwaukee just because it's small and it can uh, fit into these tight spots. So let's try it out. Goes through pretty well. Um, you want to keep your holes back a little ways so your nails can't reach them on your V-match. So... And then also you don't want them too close to the wall just in case you poke through when you're doing your siding. So let's go through.
Yeah, it looks like they did. <laughs> So that gets my power, <coughs> that gets my power over to where my switch is going to be, and I think I can, I think that's all I need to do right now, and then I'm going to go up through there for some power up top. So let's drill that one now. <laughs> So that'll get power up into the loft, and we got power to the switch, so I should be good for this room on this wall, for everything that I need to do here. I could probably run that wire now, and then insulate and start the VMAX. Now, as far as the lighting goes, I'm just going to go through each one of these um, floor joists on the loft uh, to where I want my lighting. And I got the rock wall in the way again. But that isn't going to slow me down for this project that I'm working on right now. So right now, I'm going to clean up some of the dust that I left in the wall spaces. Some of the um, sawdust and wood chips. And then I'm going to rough wire that and start to run my insulation. Alright, we got 250 feet. I don't think it's quite going to do it, but... It'll get us, it'll get us pretty far, so, oh, let's see, I have very little experience with this, as you're going to see, I wish I knew how much to leave, so I didn't have to leave, so I wasn't leaving too much, but I'd rather leave too much than not enough for right now, so, um, I guess I'm just going to run this wire, and I'll cut off what I think I need for, um, for extra. That was a little lucky, I think, <coughs> wedging it through that corner. All right, 
Looking good back here. All right, I think that's gonna come in and be just like that. That should be plenty left over there. And then on this side, oh, I'm, I'm thinking my box is gonna be like right in here. So I wanna leave like three or four feet. I'll probably leave like three foot just in case. All right. And I think from there, from that switch, I run my power up to the light and then also to upstairs. So I should be pretty good now in the bedroom as far as wired. Um, I'm running power from where my box is going to be and my power en entry is going to be all the way over to my switch. And then from the switch, I'm going to run it up to the light um, after that. And then I think I could also tie into this for an outlet before I go to the switch. If I can't, it's no problem running it straight up through here to get into the loft.
a big action. What's up? Good. A wired up? Yep. Got one wire strung. <laughs> How's it going? Not bad. What'd you guys do? We got Chubb's got two. Nice. Early. Then we went a long stretch of nothing, and then I got two right at once. Re completely redeemed myself. And he completely <laughs> redeemed himself. <laughs> nice. How's that stuff going on? Pretty good. It's uh, it'll be a little choosy. Yeah. Beggars and choosers, you know how it is. We went kind of long. You, where'd you guys end up? Oh, we went down. We could hit this third mile road. Yeah, yeah. Been That's what I've always Oh my <laughs> freaking by the book. Oh my by the book guy over here. You see a bunch of them, but Candace was trying to feed him, and I was like, can't remember what they're called. Norman. Is it Kirby's? I don't know. This is what you said yesterday, Kirby. The females are Gretchen's, yeah. the males are Gordon's. <laughs> they're Gorby's. It's like a vacuum. It's a Kirby. Well, guys, you're in luck because we got a couple new additions to the camp. You've seen Sean here before. Yeah, but yeah. this is Chubbs uh, making his debut at the camp. Yeah, I didn't come here to work. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> Sean's and back we, again. He was ready I, to work. I told him, don't bother. Go yeah. hunting. Came to adventure. Yeah. Explore, see what's out there. Sean was a huge part of getting this roof on and this big mess that I got to handle over here. Sean had a lot to do with that mess. <laughs> he's a mess maker. <laughs> no, he did awesome. I still don't know if he's afraid of heights or not. I thought he was, but he spent a lot of time on that roof. So it's the only way to build a roof. You gotta get out there. <laughs> <laughs> and the lightest guys. That was our rule. Yeah. We yeah. went by weight, not by age or anything else. So, Chubbs, you were safe. Yeah, you and for I sure. Say, probably yeah. weren't getting up there anyway. Yeah, yeah. Like, After that, we go by height, then we go by. Yeah. We rigged a bunch of stuff up here and had like planks. Oh my god, it was and pretty it was good like rigging. Wicked span on it, you know. So you get in the middle. Yeah. And so Brandon's like, Sean, you're right the smallest one. Get in there. But yeah, like, I had to hold it all while they lined it up to nail it, and the whole stage is just going like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, the and trouble you're is what? like the you know from here over you're dead. You know. <laughs> Once your like, legs start like to try to stabilize. Your leg stabilizes, but then it goes the other way. It's just shaky pudding, just going blah, blah. Doobie kept looking at me. He's like, this ain't good. <laughs> and like, Donnie and I were on the ground just laughing. <laughs> we're both yelling, here, shaky pudding, shaky pudding. Joe's like, I do not know what's going on with my legs. <sighs> just nail it. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what he said. But I don't, I don't care if it's I right. I don't care where it just is. <laughs> Okay, burger. Yeah, why don't we do yesterday. burger now and then do steak and cheese later? <laughs> <laughs> These boys are trying to talk me into calling it a day and going bird hunting with them. What do you think? Should I do that or keep keep hanging V match? I think it's a pretty easy choice, honestly. <laughs> Between me and you. <laughs> that V match ain't going anywhere. No. <laughs> These don't look like girls. No. Got a couple of show? I don't know what it is. Put you down there. Whoa! That's what they look like. Right next to the tranny fluid. <laughs> Forgot what they look like for a while. The tranny fluid keeps me lubricated. Burgers falling right apart. So that's a grouse. Sure. I think that's more like the spruce grouse one. Oh. Yeah. Package. That one he shot though. Big fan. Yeah, that's a big, good-sized bird right there. I'll get that mounted. Yeah, he's fanned right out like a turkey. And then I couldn't miss him. <laughs> good thing, because he would have missed him. <laughs> he's still actually fanned out. Look at him. <laughs> so you saw six? Six. Got four? Four. Not bad, fellas. Huh? Six is way more than I've been hearing. Well, we're coming back until we've had worse days. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, you think I can make it tonight? I was like, well, I mean, it's worth a shot. It's like that guy on that stone building that gets the best of arms. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How far is that? Jack, didn't he want to go Jackman or something? No, he wants to go Piston Barn for Moose Island. <laughs> That's like from Rockwood Bar. After yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen a fat guy in a little coat? <laughs> <laughs> Holy smokes. Oh, that ain't bad. 
we were up camping last week and gone all day. I hadn't even seen one. And we got like a bit of service. Chubbs texted me. He's like, he's got three. And I said something about it. And Rory goes, he shot them all. <laughs> <laughs> I said, yeah, they're probably extinct now. Yeah, got them all. <laughs> Gee, mister, will there be any when I grow up? <laughs> That's what we were talking about earlier. It's like his friggin' family used to be. It's all like, oh, there's no birds left. Well, how many did you used to shoot? 1970. Yeah. Every one of them. My uncle Bill. Yeah, we go out back, and there you'd be. You'd walk down this road, and there'd be one on that little hump every time you went through there. And we'd go out every day. And, and then he said, I don't know. There's, there's none out there anymore. <laughs> it's like the guys that tell you, we used to catch perch five gallon buckets every I know, day. That's exactly what I and used now to there's not anymore. Jesus. I wonder China, why. The guys down at China Lake lined right. up, freaking Remember catching that? five gallon buckets full, and now they're like, you can't even catch ten. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder yeah. why. You can deer it. Oh, this bear right there. Oh, yeah, he's right here. Yeah. Double, double tap. <laughs> got him. This is you double tap. Yeah. Uh, All right, guys, just got bird number two. I forgot to put the camera on, but we threw him in the back. I'll show you guys when we get home. Bird number two might have a couple pellets in it. Might have blistered that one pretty hard. <laughs> double, we got... double tap when you didn't need a double tap, but hey, that's all right. Yeah, his head was up. He was just sitting there. I think he's still breathing. <laughs> he's coming right at us. But we got 16 minutes left to hunting time, so we'll see if we can get one more. What's up? <laughs> apple daffle. Donnie's, is that what it is? Donnie's daughter makes it. it it's the, so it's the good. most ridiculous dessert I've ever had. Yeah, I don't need as big a piece as last night though. I ate. I it's was so like, rich. I know. And then the last bite, I just couldn't do it. It's so good though. Yep.